You absolutely need to watch this video. This is the one video you need to watch before you go and buy a car. I'm gonna show you how they get you. I'm gonna show you how they take advantage of you. I'm gonna show you the numbers behind the game. But first, I need to show you the game. We actually went to a couple of car dealerships. Right. We ended up even buying a few cars. You're out trying to buy a car and you see one maybe in a paper or something at the right price So you go down to the dealership and you see if you can work a little deal So you get on the dealership and you're like, "Ooh, look, that's the car I saw. That's the car I want Right the salesman sees you see this and he comes up to you and he's like, hey, how you doing? You like the car? And you're like, mm, I guess it's all right thinking you play the game, but he knows the game. He sees your eyes, they're dilated, right? You love this car, sure. And he sees that and he's gonna take advantage of you. And here's how the game goes, right? And he's like, um, would you like to test drive that car? And you're like, I thought you'd never ask. Uh, I know. So he's like, hey, let me just get a copy of your license and then we'll go for a little test drive. Whatever. He goes, he gets these keys and he comes back. And what does he do? He opens the door for you, your door. And he opens it and you get in, right? And you sit in and you're like, oh, this is nice, right? But he doesn't get you the keys. He goes around to the other side and he lets himself in, right? So he lets himself in and he gets in and then he hands you the keys so that you can start up that car. Why does he do that? He does that so that he initiates this fantasy that this is your car. Sure, he wants you to get in and start it and have okay. those visions of you going to the beach in it with all your friends. Yeah, so you're like, vroom, and he's like, ooh, that sounds good, doesn't it? And you're like, yeah, yeah kind of does. Right, um, and then what does he do? He stereotypes you to whatever demographic... Um, he thinks that you listen to and he turns on that radio and he turns it way up me it's usually hip-hop right okay right so he's like cranking the music he's like yeah that sounds good and you're like yeah it does and he's like go ahead take it for a little spin sure so you leave the dealership and you're driving around right um the whole time he's making small talk with you he's getting you comfortable right he's um how do they call it uh mirroring right he's telling you similar stories about how you just like him or whatever you don't talk about the car at all while you're on this drive anyway he brings you back to the dealership and where does he tell you to park it does he tell you to park it back into the spot that you were in or where you got the car from no he tells you to oh just park it over there uh by the building right next to the sales office right sometimes i'll even park it right out of the window right outside the window of um, the place where you're gonna be working the numbers, right? Anyway, 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 you get it back and you're loving it and you're like, oh my gosh, this is my car, right? And then he's like, um, why don't we just uh, go inside and run the numbers? It couldn't hurt. And you're like, I guess it couldn't hurt. So you guys go in and let me describe this room. blue room or beige room doesn't usually have a whole lot going on. There might be a couple of pictures on the wall, um, maybe of a family, which isn't his. Yeah, these rooms have nothing going on. Right. Um, and you go into this room and he says, hey, why don't you sit right there in that chair? So when you get into this blue room, right, he asks you to take a seat in a specific seat. So you sit down in the seat and the seat is real, real low and it's rigid and uncomfortable. And the first thing he does is he goes around to the other side of the desk and he gets in his chair and he jacks it all the way up. He likes, he says he likes to be comfortable, sure. So this is him and this is you. And this is him and this is you. Why does he put you in that position? He puts you in a submissive position. First thing he's gonna do is he's gonna put a piece of paper in front of you and he's gonna say, put what you can afford per month right there. Don't do that, people. Don't do that, <laughs> right? Um, I'm a numbers kind of guy, right? If you put your true number there, I am going to work the numbers so that it's advantageous to me. Okay, so let's talk about the numbers. 
So let's talk about the math behind the deal. Yeah. All right. So you go in and this is a common formula for finding um, your monthly payment. Yeah, sure. We see that the monthly payment is um, the total amount you're going to finance. Now, remember, if you're putting money down, you need to take that off of the amount that you're financed. Sure. So say the car is uh, $18,000 and you're putting $7,000 down, then you're only financing 11, put 11 there. And then um, times I, I is your monthly interest rate. It's your annual interest rate divided by 12. Sure. And all that's going to be divided by one minus the quantity one plus that monthly interest rate raised to the minus 12 times n, which is the number of years. And if you throw your numbers in there, it's going to give you what your monthly payment's going to be. Now let's get an example of this actual calculation. Here, we'll take um, my friend's uh, deal, if you will. Um, this isn't the actual deal. This is what they tried to do. All right, financing $10,000. Mm. They came at an undisclosed rate, which turned out to be 9%. <laughs> right, um, for how many years? Seven years. If we were to work these numbers, we'd find our I to be 0 0.09, which is 9% as a decimal, divided by 12. That turned out to be 0 0.0075. Okay, sure. Um, What else? When we plugged them into our formula, we got that the monthly payment was going to be $160 or $160.89. Right. You think it's no big deal, but let's take a look at this. How do we find our, our total cost? Our total cost, we're going to take the monthly payment and we're going to multiply it by the number of months. In this case, it was 84. Sure. So that's what we get down here. That's what that $13,514 and 80 cents is. Right. What does this mean to you? This means to you that you're paying $3,500 in interest. Right. That's a hefty penny, especially when you're only financing $10,000. That's like what? A third of it? So that was the actual calculation of the dang thing. Let's go through a couple of scenarios and things that you need to worry about, or at least pay close attention to. We're talking about financing here, people. Let's just take a $14,000 finance. Maybe it's the entire car, maybe it's whatever you put down minus the total price of the car, and you're financing 14. Let's just take a usual rate these days. Let's take that. 9% and let's run through a couple of scenarios. So here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. What are they going to do after you put your numbers down in that little box? The first number they're going to bring to you is the shock and awe number. Oh no! What are you going to do? The first number they bring to you is a number that you cannot possibly afford to pay. Well, at least um, some people, right? This is the shock and awe number. This number is coming in to weaken you. Remember, you're down here. They're up here. The first number is trying to weaken you so that you submit to their terms. Right. Let's run through these numbers. The first number, right? This 9%. This shock and awe number is going to be the shortest term of the loan. We're talking about three years. Standard terms of loan are three, five, and seven. Yes, the holy grail. Yes, seven years. Try to stay away from this, people, and I'm going to show you why. Okay, um, the first number that they're going to bring in out is the shock and awe number. This is 14,000 14, finance at a rate of 9% for three years. The number that they're going to bring to you is the monthly payment. They don't show you the back end of the loan. They only bring you the monthly payment, that number that they had you put in the corner. This blows out all estimates. They're like, wow, we worked the numbers, and ooh, looks like it's going to be $445.20 is your monthly payment. You shake, you turn ghostly white, you're like, ah. all your hopes and dreams of you and the beach have just slipped away. I know. And he sees you sweating, cold, and pale. And he says, you look a little uncomfortable with that number. And you're like, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so he's like, well, let me go see what I can do. Let me go talk to my sales manager. Does this sound familiar? Yeah, I bet it does. Once or twice if you've been in that blue room. Yeah. So he goes back to his sales manager, which may or may not even be there. What does your friend do? Does your friend lower the price of the car? Mm -mm. Does he change your interest rate? Mm, nope. Right? He extends the terms of the contract and he puts it out to five years or 60 months. And then he goes through and here's our calculation. What does this do? It drops our monthly payment to $290.62. Awesome. But what he doesn't show you, what he doesn't bring back is the back end of that loan. Take a look at that. Now you're going to be paying $17,000. Wow. 
off on that $14,000 loan. And the difference is $3,437 in interest. Remember back, we were going to only pay $2,000 in interest for three years. Now, um, they've just added another $1,400 onto the interest payment. They don't show you that. The only number they bring back is the $2,000 or $290.62. Right. Lowered it significantly. He comes back here. He's like, I got really good news. We were able to uh, extend it out to five years or 60 months. And it was $290. And all of a sudden, your hopes and your dreams, they start to come back. Right. And you're like, oh, man, maybe this Mac might actually be my car. And he sees that. He sees that hope and that gleam in your eye. And he says, you know what? Let me go see what I can do. If I can knock 50 bucks off that payment right now, do we have a deal right now? And you're like, yes, sir. So what does he do? He goes back and he talks to his sales manager. Does he low, lower the price of the car? No. Does he change your interest rate? No. What does he do? He extends it out to seven years. And he comes back, he crunches the number and he brings this number to you, the monthly payment. Right, and the monthly payment is now $225.25. And he's like, I got really good news. We were able to lock, knock off a little bit more than 50 bucks a month. And you're gleaming with joy because now you have this car, but take a look at the backside of that loan. Uh, I know. Right, now you're gonna pay almost $19,000 on that $14,000 finance. So the interest charge is almost five grand or four thousand nine hundred and twenty and eighty cents. Right. Twice the amount of interest that you were going to. I bring this up to point out the terms of the loan. Let's talk about credit, people. Credit is so important. Maintain your credit. Right. All right. So there's good pre there's good credit, there's bad credit, and there's your job is your credit. Don't sweat it. You know, you've heard the commercials. Um, well, let's see what happens here. If you have bad credit, you're going to be put into like a 17% category, which is like, oh my gosh, there's public transportation. I know, but if you're in that scenario, it happens. It happens. And they're going to try to get you on this rate, like 17%. I've even heard upwards in the neighborhood of like 24 it's like a car on a credit card. Oh, uh, I know. And then good credit these days on like a used car or something like that's going to get you around um, five to nine percent. And then like great credit, you're talking like three percent or something like that. And then there's some special deals out there like the one that we just got 0.08 percent. <laughs> nice. OK, well, whatever. Let's go through and let's run some of these numbers. Let's first check the lowest payments with the bad credit scenario. Let's see the um, total lowest payment that you could possibly pay. What am I talking about? I'm talking about 17%, $14,000 financed, seven years. Wow. Take a look at that payment. Looks like a sweet 289. Oh, that's 286. Right. Um, doable, manageable. Let's look at the back end of that loan. They don't show you this. $24,000. That's going to be how much you're going to pay for that $14,000 finance. That's, that's, whoa, $10,000 in interest. It's paying almost double for the car. Okay, so what did you say when he told you 9%? I said bye. The car. Watch out, people. Let's take a look at great credit. Yeah, great credit. Um, great credit getting 3%. Right, the shock and awe number, the worst they could possibly bring you. Taking a look at this. Yes, that's that $14,000 finance for 3% and three years. It comes in at a whopping $407 per month. Remember, you're paying it off faster. The payment's gonna be a little bit higher. It's about, what, 120 bucks higher than the bad credit? Huh. I know. Hey, wait, Um. yeah, whatever, give or take. And uh, you're gonna end up paying $14,656 on that $14,000 finance for, for a total interest charge of $656. I mean, come on, people, really. Really, really, mind your credit. And we played this little game at the dealership. The first numbers they came out with was 9%. So what did you say when he told you 9%? I said bye. So we went back in this. <laughs> back inside. What's your new rate? 5.84, that's right, much better than nine. And this is what happened. Back in the original part of this video, we came in and it was $35,000 in interest when we ran my friend's loan. Right, Um. now, what happened? Um, we went through and we, we worked the numbers at that new rate of 584. Sure. And we cut it down from seven years to four years, which bring our total interest charge to $1,237.60. Yeah. Awesome. Compared to 
the three thousand dollars or thirty five hundred that they wanted before so we saved um one thousand two hundred and thirty seven dollars over the life of this loan oh we saved two thousand two hundred and seventy seven dollars over the course of this loan what does that mean that's like five hundred and seventy dollars a year that we saved by making sure that we work these loans proper yeah um that you make thirty thousand dollars a year that's two percent of your salary every year by reworking this loan we gave ourselves a two percent raise can you believe that final score we were able to get 20% off the sticker price of each one of those cars, and they'll do it too. And we were mindful of our interest rates. So the final score, Map i 5s two, dealerships, zero. Study.